Please let me have that second serving. Don't you dare touch it. You cannot have second serving. You only get one serving. <laughs> what are you doing? Spit it out! Spit it out now! Spit it out! Look. Can I have this leftover food, please? I'm so hungry. Filthy beggar, get the heck out of here before I spit on you. Sir, I'm just asking for leftover food. I would rather throw this food in the toilet before I let you taste it. You can go and eat from the garbage bin. Sorry, sir. You again? What do you think you are doing here? And give me this. Give me this. Otherwise, I'll kick you hard. Give! Give! I saw what happened back there at the restaurant. Please take it and go there. You! I warned you. But bhai sahab, this time I have money. I'm not going to serve a homeless man. So get the heck out of here right now. And what do you think you are doing? You are letting this bum eat over here? Hey, watch your tone with him. You pig. Enough, you fool. Jamesh Muktani. I am the new owner of this restaurant. Now where are you going? I'm fired, right sir? You are not fired. I have something else for you. Like what? You have car anyways? Yes sir. A car which was given by the restaurant for the business purpose. It belongs to Jasmine now. What? I'm so proud of you, Kunal. You have changed a lot. Thank you so much, sir. I really thought I couldn't change you, but you have proven yourself. Today, Mark's feeding over 1,000 homeless people on the streets of Los Angeles. So congratulations. Seriously, sir. It's nothing. It was all with your help. Yeah, but how do you feel now? Better? Much better. I can't believe I was so ignorant and stupid to treat other human beings like that. They all are same, if not better than me. Okay, calm down, Kunal, before I slap you. You don't have to push it that far, okay? Okay. Anyways, I have to leave. I have to make love to Jasmine. Okay, sir. You know, if you wasn't there, we wouldn't have met. So thank you so much. Of course, sir. Thank you. We always think about you when we are making love, especially in your car. That's great to hear, sir. Anyways, I have to leave. Okay. See you then. Okay, sir. Changed. <laughs> what a joke. If only he knew how I treat those peasant homeless pigs. They're not even close to me. And they'll never be my class. And I will never change. Hey, mister. What do you want? Remember? From earlier this morning? Mm -hmm. You smell badly. Go away. You filthy woman beggar. He was so kind yesterday. Yes. It's because my boss was over here, lurking over my bag. Now he's not. So leave before I whack you. Please, please don't do that. I just want some more food. More free food? You filthy freeloader. Why don't you work and earn food yourself? Please, I will work, but nobody's hiring me. I'm a struggling mother of three kids. We are all hungry. Who would have kids with you? My husband. He passed away years ago. Probably because of your wretched stench. Now leave. <laughs> Please. I can see you have enough food there. Please let me have that second serving. Don't you dare touch it. You cannot have second serving. You only get one serving. Please. No. Just leave. <laughs> What are you doing? Spit it out! Spit it out now! Spit it out! Spit it out! Yes! You filthy pig! How dare you? I tell you, boss! You better not! Or else! Or else what? Or else I will! Ah! Ah! Or else I will kick you! Bloody god damn it! Ah! Damn it! Don't worry, I'll, I'll talk. I'll talk to him. Hey Kunal! Come over here, please. Nice to see you, Kunal. How are you? Uh, hi, sir. Uh, everything okay? Yeah, everything's great. You know Marisa? Yes. Yes, sir. You know she has told me so many great things about you. She has? Yes, you helped her out yesterday. You feed her and her children. I did? I mean, uh, yes. Uh, yes, sir, I did. Kunal, my boy, you have changed so much. I'm very proud of you. You know what, Marisa? When we first met, he literally spat on me, thinking I was a homeless. Like, can you believe that? No, I can't. And you know what? I'm surprised that he lets you eat second. <laughs> Sir, of course. But seriously, to be very honest, 
I would have think that he would have choked you and have made you spit out the food. But no, he wouldn't do that, right? Sir, what's this? What's this? You say what's this? I thought you have changed. So you know everything. Yes, I do. But why, Kunal? I thought you have learned your lesson in the first time. I thought it would have changed you. Why, sir? Why would I change? Feeding the homeless? Please. It just made me realize how much more beneath me they are. Like what? Seriously? Yes, sir. Seriously. Have you heard about the scorpion and the frog? Once there was a scorpion and a frog, and the scorpion needed to get across the river. So the scorpion asked the frog, "Can you please take me across the river?" The frog said, "No. You are going to sting me and kill me." The scorpion replied, "No. If I did that, we both would drown." The frog realized that made sense and agreed to take the scorpion. While they were in the river getting across, the scorpion stings the frog and the frog gets injured and starts to drown slowly. While the frog was drowning, he asked the scorpion, "Why did you sting me? Now we both are going to drown." The scorpion replied, "Because I am the scorpion and that's what I do." What? Sir, you did not understand the story? It's in the scorpion's nature to do it. You dumb I understand the story. I just don't understand how it relates to you because I am the scorpion. No, Kunal, you are a fucking human. You are a human. Malisa is a human. I am a human. And we show humanity. We have empathy. We show empathy. We don't buy. We are. We are not scorpions. Don't you dare tell this kind of rubbish story to me again. Rubbish. Okay, sir. Why do you always start walking? I am fired. Right, sir. You are not fired. I am not. Oh no. So what now? I don't have any more cars. You think I am going to give Marisa a car? No, not this time. I am going to give her your hand in marriage. What? What, sir? Yes. So that you can learn your lesson. No, sir. Please. I am too young to get married. And Marisa, she has three kids. That's good. It's all about time. You need to have kids and have some responsibility on yourself. But where is she going to live, sir? She is homeless. But you have a house. She will live with you. Of course. You are really very kind, Jonas. Kunal once again learned a valuable lesson that all humans are equal, regardless of who they are and how much they learn. Kunal happily married Marissa and helped her raise his new children with her. Living with Marissa, he realized that she was his soulmate, and he felt bad on how he treated her. They both lived happily ever after. I truly hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember to check out my daughter's new YouTube channel. It's so much fun to make and even more fun to watch. Click the link above or the link in the description and it'll be pinned on the top of the comment section. Hope to see you there. And remember to subscribe. Unfortunately, you can't comment on those videos, but you can still comment on this video. So leave your comments. I love reading them and I try to reply to as many as I can. You can also follow me on Facebook where you see some exclusive content on there. And if you want to see behind the scenes, Remember to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Don't forget to download the Samir Bhavnani app. It is available now on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. You can watch a lot of our premium content on there that isn't available on YouTube or any other platforms. And always remember to share this video to keep spreading positivity.